It was a 1980 Isle of Man TT, and we were all over as usual. The gang was there, Alan, and um, the works Hondas were there with, of course, all the latest equipment, quick fillers, the whole lot. Once Joey got a standard 750 tank, which is going to run the bike. So how do we look at it and we've seen what way things are going in practice. I said, Joe, you're never going to win this, son, with it's a, sta a two-stop uh, pit thing because the Honda are going to come in quick fuel and they're gone. Well, what do we do? I says, well, I ran a big tank in the Manx last year for one stop. We would have won it with Ronnie Russell, only the burn went in the gearbox, but the pattern was there. So you may try for a big tank. So Joe, always wonder where to get a tank. I says, well, I can get one made because Crosby can and Kenny has made mine. So... We we'll borrowed the tank, Joey borrowed the tank of Sam McClamans. Didn't tell Sam what he was going to do with it, but I took it down to Crosby's. They cut it, sat in the extra bit for the whole the right amount of fuel. Brought it back to Joey, I says, right, keep that out of sight. I've tested it and all, it's not leaking. You can put it on, but I says, don't let anybody see it to the morning of the race. And here and behold, when it came, start, starting time, Joey came out with the big tank. Nobody took much notice of it because it didn't it just stand out that much. But you could see the bit welded into it. But Honda never caught it on because when Joey was coming down for it, would should have been his first pit stop. He went on through, and of course over the tunnel, and Joey Dunlap has missed the pit stop. He's forgot the stop, he's gone on through. So I was standing smiling, Barry Simmons was looking down with me with a face like the devil on him. He knew what had happened. Joey wasn't stopping. <laughs> I just stood and smiled and said nothing. And as you, you know, the rest of the story's history, the strap broke in the tank, but the tank stayed held, locked into the frame. Joey went on ahead and won the race, and... Uh, that's the end of the story. Yeah. Well, Stephen, we're now going to talk about the famous ploy that Joey pulled at Dundrod for Suzuki to help Graham Crosby win the World Championships. This all came about when I got a phone call one day from Rex White saying, could I get anybody who would back Graham up at Dundrod? And I says, I've got the very man for you. Joey did not. But Joey, right? I says, well, I'll ask him. You know you have to stop, he says, in the last lap. If he's in front of that Graham win. I says, of course he will. So I rang Joey and Joey says, I he'd ride the bike. And here and behold, the morning of the race, out the went. Joey took the lead, was going farther and farther away. Rex White's flying up to me. Is he going to stop all right? I says, Rex, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Well, I says, I asked him before he would do it. Was he going to stop? And he just told me that he didn't know whether he'd stop or not. So Rex took a complete panic fit because the lead was increasing and increasing. But here and behold, as the last lap came, Crosby came down to the quarries and the lead Joey had shut off. Let him through. And that's how Crosby won that World Championship that year with the help of Joey.